um, to enhance my setup. My fog machine, I feel like it wanted to start working. So it's being real finicky. I upgraded it to this fog machine. Um, this has the built-in lights and as well as a wireless remote control. The remote control I had before, um, you had to stay within a certain distance of the fog machine. So I just wanna see how this short video because I have to prepare for an event later this evening but we have here the corded remote um, so this is going to go inside the machine this looks like the power cord here the bracket or handle and the actual machine okay so here's the actual machine so, this is a Donner DFM 500 watt Got the power and the, po the power for the actual machine and the power for the lights. Uh, this is the front. These are the three different strobe lights. There's different settings. It comes with a remote for the light settings, and also this is the um, portable remote. It's like a one of those old school car openers, but so that's that. I'll show it in motion in a second, but the other thing I wanted to get out of the way was the upgraded bubble gun that we have. Oh, also these screws came with this so that you can attach the bracket onto the side and adjust it. Um, and then second item I wanted to unbox today, and I'll get some video footage of these in use. Like I said, I'm trying to get ready for the event. I just wanted to do this real quick. Um, this is the Neptune um, bubble machine. It's the Bazooka brand, which happens to be a really good brand. The very first um, event that I did, which was a graduation party, the client actually had her own Bazooka bubble gun, and it was really good. It was, I liked it a lot. Um, the only thing I didn't like about it, it was, it was one of those ones where you have to dip the end part into the tray, and it kind of made a mess. This one, you don't have to dip the bubbles. You don't have to dip the actual machine into the, any tray. You actually just load it. We got some bubble solution that it came with. Two little bottles. And you want to make a mental note to keep these because they actually load into the back part of the machine. So we got this part. This also came with it. Put it together in a second. Some stickers to put on the outside. This looks like the rechargeable battery and a strap to came with. Oh, yeah, I'm going to start. I'll be using that little bubble gun. Um, got a handle here. Again, it comes with the strap. You can attach the straps. And these little bad boys, I'm assuming you have fixed them some type of way into here. Obviously with the top off. But I'm assuming you put it in here. Um, this way so that these parts go into the actual bubble solution, and then you're able to screw it on. This is just an additional attachment, um, so you can have like a handle in the front as well. Again, very quick video. I'll go into more details um, once I put everything together and stuff, because I don't know how this goes. All this will be in the description. Last thing, new addition to the family, this today. And this is what I'm actually going to use to fire it myself. Because right now, I use a power strip. I think it's got about six outlets on it. My portable battery, I usually have some stuff plugged into there, charging in there as well. This is a, I don't know what brand this is. Again, it'll be in the description, but it's got 10, 16, 18 outlets plus a, a C port and then three USB ports and um, the external battery that I have and I was plugging things into there to make it a lot less stressful. Um, this is gonna be very good to charge pretty much all of my stuff because like I said, I was using a combination of just a regular power strip and um, the external battery that I have and I was plugging things into there to make it a lot less stressful. Um, they're pretty spaced out so that you don't have to worry about like the charger butts, what I call them, the backs. Um, you don't have to worry about them touching each other and not being able to fit. So it's got a good amount of space. Um, again, 18 outlets, 
plus a C port and three USB chargers. So that, just to show you real quick how simple it was, this little part just goes right on there. You take the bubble solution, screw it on, put this part in the back. And when I say talk about no more mess, if I could get it back on. Okay. Click and then to place. One button trigger. Put it back. I don't have to press the button, it's gonna automatically go. It's got some reach. Don't mind the mess in the background, but it's got some reach. You can see the colors. It's coming out of three spots. And again, just less mess. You don't have to worry about dipping anything for those bubble blowers where you have to dip it into the tray. You don't have to worry about it. That's the other thing. The other bubble makers that I have, they leave my platform because I have the glass, tempered glass one. It leaves it very slippery, so I have to wipe very often. With these, I'm looking at the, the floor. It's like, it's not dry, but it's not as wet as those bubble machines that I've used before. So that's that. Ryan Little. <laughs> it, it goes, okay? So. Mm -hmm. um, the way I use our bubble machines, when we have bubble machines, I have bubble guns. I don't like the way they, they don't work half the time. Um, with these, what we do is spray it in the background. Um, I'll probably have people, if they want to hold this, they can hold it. But um, for the most part, we do all the special effects behind the scene. Like we'll add the fog and we'll add the bubbles. So this is going to be a nice, clean, clean and easy, non messy solution. Just like that. And that should feel good. <laughs> So yep, that's that. All put together, very simple. It, co it comes with the rechargeable battery. So all you do is just disconnect this part. It's got a little part where you just pinch it, disconnect that part. And to charge it, you just plug it into this part and it's got a USB port. So very simple charging. The one I have like this, um, another bubble gun that I have it's the same thing and the battery lasts pretty long just have to make sure that this stays closed tight on it because it does tend to pop out but yeah i like this this is this is going to be a hit also again just side note remember you keep these because this is the size for this machine so just make sure you keep these if you keep refilling it with your own bubbles but don't throw these away don't lose the top i'm trying to remember myself <laughs> but yeah that's it for that okay so we just freaked the cat out. <laughs> smells good. Don't mind my stuff. Um, so, as you can see, we got the strobe light effect on here. You can make it flash. Um, it's got the RGB button. So this remote comes with this. You just tune up the brightness, make it a white light if you want. But anyway, just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna use the wireless remote, and it's got like a little cover on it. Um, it's showing you unlocked and locked. So when you hit the unlocked, you get a continuous flow. You don't have to worry about keep pressing it. It's gonna go continuously. And then when you press the lock button, it stops it. This is really cool. I am liking this a lot because you can see the, the effects of the smoke, like the light with the with the fog. And then just to show you the wired remote, um, you'll have to hold this continuously depending on how long. This gives you a, a spurt. So. That's this one, which we're definitely going to be using this this wired, un, excuse me, unwired one, wireless one. You can just to cool down. Yeah. The red light will indicate when it's ready for you to use again. It does have to cool down before you can use it. Um, so it takes about two to three minutes for it to heat back up. But here's what the back is looking like with everything plugged in. Um, you have your power for the actual machine itself and then for the lights. So you don't have to have it with the lights on. You can do it without the lights, which is nice. So it's not automatic. Some people might not want the lights for whatever reason, but um, there's a separate one for the light. And then you just have the two controllers here. Um, I wonder, let's do this together. If we take this one out, this one is for the remote, this top one. This is for the wired remote. 
So I'm wondering, maybe it won't, because when you take that one out, um, we don't get the light indicator if it's warm enough. So let's see if it works without the wire remote being plugged in. And it's a no. You have to have this plugged in, which is the wire remote, which is the one where you have to press it for however long you want the fog to come out. But you don't have to use it. But as long as it's plugged in, and you see now the light came on because it was probably already warm, now we're able to use the wire one. So you don't need to use it, but you do have to have it plugged in in order to be able to use um, the fog machine. So I just want to see how long it goes. Um, again, I just pressed it that one time on the wireless remote and it's going. That's a nice, nice little feature. I love the way it is white for the One last tip when you're doing these, and I'm glad that that just happened. Yes, I just set off my smoke alarm, but I actually set off a smoke alarm at an event. <laughs> so just a word um, of advice when you're making your bookings, and if you are incorporating your fog machine like as a part of your package, or even if you include it as an extra feature, always ask if the place that they're having it at, especially if it's indoors, allows fog machines because that is now a standard question that I ask. It's even in the contract. Like, fog machines allowed indoors, yes or no? Because um, we did set off uh, an alarm and we did have the fire department come out. Good thing was at the end of the event, but yeah. See? My mistakes are your learning experience. <laughs> and now we're done. Mm -hmm. and how everything looks. But thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one, next video, next one. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs>